All right, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS so North Carolina camp back with another video. Before we go any further, we all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the great millstone of teaching us to more percent truth according to the Bible rule well. In peace and blessings, so afflict the nation of Israel today through his spirit and power be all by Shema Lashai. You know, me and the brother of uh, Kabbalah was able to link up today. Shalom. You know, we're going to do a lesson centered around, you know, trusting in the Lord. And, you know, that's the most important thing, you know, you as an Israelite, you as a so-called Negro Latinos and Native American can be doing in these last days. Because you see um, two-thirds of our so-called, two-thirds of our people, what are they doing? You know, they're trusting in their oppressors. They're trusting in the so-called white man to get them out of these situations, you know. Well, we are to trust in the Lord, you know. A time of great uh, tribulation has come upon the earth. And you having that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Lord, you know, you trusting in him and in his power, you know, it's going to be of a great benefit in these days. Come on in now. Yeah. <clears throat> this is Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. The Lord is good. Mm -hmm. A stronghold in a day of trouble. Yes, yeah, so the Lord, you know, a stronghold in a day of trouble, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you want you to look that word stronghold, you know. Because the Lord, you know, uh, you have, you know, a stronghold, you know. We're going to get what we're going to get into that, you know. Scripture say the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And this day of trouble that's coming, you know, where the Lord will be a stronghold is the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, when your enemy, the so-called white man, you know, think you think things are bad. Things are only going to get worse. You know, mm -hmm. things will con are going to continue to get worse and worse. You know, wait till there's no food in your grocery stores. You know, wait until, you know, um, where um, the, the 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 troops, you know, aren't aren't just you know, hands up. You know, throwing tear gas at you, shooting you rubber bullets. Wait until they're gunning you down with real bullets. You mm -hmm. know. The scriptures say what the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous from the into it and are safe, you know? Okay. This is a um, stronghold in, in, in uh, the Hebrew H4580, H4580. Um, <coughs> my, my, my was, my was, and it says a place or means of safety. Yeah, so look, a place. Strong's age 4581. My ooze. That was a way off. My ooze. <laughs> I mean, yes. <it> <laughs> my ooze. <laughs> you know, um, you know, so read again, bro. Con, yeah, it's um, going to the definition of stronghold in a blue letter. It says um, uh, a place or means of safety, protection, mm. refuge, and stronghold. Yes, yeah, see, a, a place of ref, refuge, you know, mm -hmm. you know, a place of safety, you know, so the Lord is going to allow you to be safe, you know, in this time of trouble, you know, and that's what you should be looking for. You know, a lot of people, they're, they're living their lives very uncertainly because they don't have that confidence in the Lord, you know, they mm -hmm. don't have that faith in Yahweh by Shem Shai, they're not trusting in him. That's right. And it says, um... So, uh, refuge in the parentheses it has of God. Yeah. So, you know. Hey, look, a refuge of the Most High. I mean, what? The, Mo the Most High is going to cover you in that day. Mm -hmm. And scripts say, what thy truth shall be um, our shield and buckler. You know, which we're going to we get into some, Psalms 91. Okay. Well, I'll hold it. Okay. So, then finish up. Um, go back to that. This is um, Nahum 1 and 7. Mm -hmm. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. Go ahead. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Yeah, so if you trust in the Lord, you know, the Lord knoweth you, you know, and that when you're in trouble, when you're in distress, you know, mm -hmm. he's not going to forsake you, you know. But if you are someone who is <clears throat> wishy-washy, the Lord knows that you don't trust in him, you know. Mm -hmm. And that when a time of distress comes upon you, you call it upon him, he's not going to deliver you, you know? That's right. So the Lord's not going to forsake those that put their trust in him, you know? He's going to deliver you. Look at, you know, all the generations of old, you know? Which I can get that. Kind of. While you're getting that, you know, that, you know, goes into these uh, these Christians, man. You know, these uh, uh, Baptists, these Methodists, you know, who claim that they really believe and trust in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? The Lord knows who trusts. The ones that's trusting the one is doing what he commands them to do. Right? Fear him. Keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of the Israelite man. 
Okay, mm-hmm. this is um, <laughs> Sirach 2, I'm sorry, 7. It says, yeah. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, mm-hmm. and go not aside, lest ye fall. That's right. So, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. That's the elect, man. The elect knows that what, you know, going out here marching, trying to seek mercy, mercy from uh, uh, Esau, Edom, the ones we are putting his foot on our necks ever since, you know, Jake came over here, right? Ever since they came over here and put their foot on the necks of Jake, man, right? The elect is going to put their uh, 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 their fear and their trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're not going to uh, hope for mercy from their enemy, man. And it reads, <clears throat> Sirach 2 and 7, Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, at least ye fall. Yeah, go not aside, at least ye fall. Going out there marching, man, it's not going to do anything. You got, you got to come out of that mindset like it tells you in Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye in the park, but this is not your rest, man. You're falling aside by marching, man. That has done nothing for our people and will do nothing for our people. We'll get on what? Uh, 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 sore feet? Tear gas? Loss of voice. <laughs> <laughs> Loss of voice? <laughs> Thrown in jail for, for the night? Mm-hmm. You know? Losing your job for going out there, you know, protesting or whatever. Yeah. And it reads, you know, which those things can happen on to us for preaching this word, but at least it's for righteousness' exactly. sake. That's you know, what I was thinking that too. It says, "Ye that fear the Lord, believe Him, mm-hmm. and your reward shall not fail." Yeah, ye that fear the Lord, believe we believe Him, man, and our reward shall not fail, man. Our reward is salvation. Lord willing, we endure this thing, man. And that's what we're trying to tell you, Akim and Akwaf. And look, man, you need to be fearing your how about Shimi was shy, man. Right? Mm-hmm. Not, not, not your uh, your enemies, because they're not gonna bring you out of the uh, the uh, the hell that they're putting on you. Yeah, they want you to stay in this predicament. Exactly. You know? That's why. That's why they. That's why they have this system set up. You know. You yeah. know. System goes back and uh, goes back, you know. I believe to be a pit, you know, yep. a pit's a trap. That's right. It says, verse 9 Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good mm-hmm. and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? That's right. You go back and read the accounts, okay? Look at Abraham, look at Noah. Okay, look at uh, Daniel and the lions. Then you know that's that, that you know. Look at uh, uh, Shimmer, Meshach, and the Bendigo, right? The fiery furnace, right? They trust in the Lord. You know they got delivered out of that fire. You know, mm-hmm. you know spiritually that fire is coming down. You know a great, um, a great temptation is coming down. The hour of temptation, we're going to be tempted. And our lives are going to be on the line. You know that the mark of the beast, the hour of temptation. But the Lord said, those who was doing His will on this earth, He was going to, He's going to, He's going to, uh, you know, protect you during those times. Yeah, Revelation what three and ten. Mm-hmm. But um, it says, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, mm-hmm. or did any abide? Yeah, confounded, uh, put to shame. Yep. You know, and when you read accounts, the answer is no. They wasn't put to shame. Okay? What happened when um, Dan came out of that lion's den, man? He threw the guards in there, man. It was the guards, right? The guards he threw in there? Uh, the, I believe his accusers got thrown in there. You know, if you go into the story, you know, they were trying to plot against Daniel because he wouldn't yeah. worship their gods. Yeah. So they brought up the account to Daniel, and those who came against Daniel, yeah. the king got them thrown into the lion's den. Yeah, because he, uh, he exposed uh, Baal and the dragon. And then the ones, uh, the king gave him up, and that's how he ended up getting into the, the lion's pit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the water, bro. Um, a little bit more. Um, and it reads, Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Mm-hmm. Did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, man? Once again, the answer is no. Yeah, because those that are buying the Lord's fear are doing exactly what he commanded them to do, you know? Right. They're pleasing the Lord, you know, and he takes much delight, you know, it tells you that in Psalms, 
Lib was the 19th chapter. He shall deliver thee because he shall deliver me because he delighted in me. You know. Mm -hmm. This is um right, finishing off. Or mm -hmm. whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Or whom did he ever hate that called upon him, man? And once again, no one, man. Mm -hmm. When the the men of the Lord, the prophets called on the Lord, the Lord was there, man. You know? To, 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 to deliver them, to rescue them, okay, in a time of need. And we are living in a time of need, man. We're living in, you know, many scriptures, man. We're living in, the, this is the year, uh, the end of the year of prophecy, man. 2020 by Apostle and Elders, a great millstone, man. Apostle to heart. That what? The prophecy of the Bible are speaking. And, you know, and, and part of that prophecy is uh, Sleazy E coming down on our people, man. Right? Because he know he has a short time. You see the men of the Lord there prophesying. Okay, you see a uh, 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 camp springing up. You see people repenting, turning back to the Heavenly Father. So he's like, I got to do something about this. He sees his kingdom uh, slipping out of his hands. Jeremiah 30 and 7, Matthew 24, 21. You know? Okay, just a little bit more. Yeah. Scriptures say, well, there's no want to them that fear the Lord. You know? Mm -hmm. It says, verse 11, it says, For the Lord is long-suffering, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Right? Not, 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 not your oppressors. So why would you trust in them? Why would you uh, 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 seek them to get you out of the situation that you're in? Go ahead. And it reads... And very pitiful, mm -hmm. and forgive of sins. And forgive of sins. So yeah, the Most High is the one that forgive of sins, man. Yeah, how about Shimei was shouted the world ignorantly and willingly calls God and Jesus Christ, right? They're the ones that forgive the sins, not the Pope, right? You know, Catholics go and confess your sins and, you know, to a man, and, you know, your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. That's not what the scriptures say. We just read it. Yep, scripts say that that they may know that some of the men have power to forgive sins, you know? Mm-hmm. Yahweh Shai, you know? You know, Yahweh by Shmuel Shai at the end of the day. It, and it reads, And saveth in the time of affliction. And saveth in the time of affliction. And affliction is here. Mm -hmm. And it's only, the temperature's only gonna get raised up, man, on our people. Okay. Uh, I got, okay. if you got something, go ahead. I got a couple more. Um... I know you called for Psalms 91. Yeah. Uh, let me bring this one. It's a real quick one. Yeah. This is Psalms 121 and 2. My help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Yeah. You know, so our help <coughs> coming from the Lord, you know, that made heaven and earth. You know, if our power had the, the power to make, you know, the heavens and the earth, which we see around us, you know, you got to most definitely trust in his power and know that he has the power to, to save you, you know? Mm -hmm. You gotta know that the Most High is controlling everything that's going down here on this earth. Mm -hmm. And what did Yahweh Shai say? I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, talking about the, the elect, but that but thou shalt keep them from the evil, from the from the evil days, from the bad times that were gonna come upon the world, you know? And you believe, you know, hey look, Yahweh Shai, you know, he went on the cross, he died for us. You best believe he was a, you know, because you got people who don't believe in Yahweh Shai, these No Testament Israelites, you know? Well, you got, yeah, best believe it. that prayer is written, so it was heard of the Most High, you know? It's going to be performed once again in these last days. Go ahead. That was in my, <laughs> Yeah. This Psalms 46 and 1, it says, The Most High is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Yeah, look, the mo a very present help, you know? Mm-hmm. So the Lord is present in the time of trouble. He's not a far off, you know. When 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 you're in help and you're in need, you got He's there, you know. Mm -hmm. Just you know, because the time of trouble is coming. But look, the Lord's our help now, you know. Helping brothers pay their bills, you know. Helping brothers have a roof of, over their head, mm -hmm. get through the hell that they're cash on the on the job. You know, a lot of people look over those things, but hey, that, the Lord's helping us with those things, you know, because mm -hmm. we. You see the predicament of our people who don't trust in the Lord, you know, they're bugged out in their minds, you know, some of them are homeless, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of them, you know, basically uh, digging out of trash cans to get food, 
So look, we trust in the Lord that he's going to provide for us, you know, because hey, that's what he said he would do, you know. What did King David say? I've been young and old and never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is he begging for bread, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's part of that trust. You got another one? Yep. It's Psalms 31 and 1. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. You see? So we're trusting in the Lord. We're trusting in Yahweh by Shemel Shai's word, that he's a man of his word, you know, and that his servants, during that time of trouble, that his servants were going to eat, you know, and the people who didn't trust in the Lord, that they were going to be ashamed that when these wild animals, the beasts of the field, that we were going to be at league with them, mm -hmm. you know? In that during famine, you know, we were going to be joyful. We we're going to be laughing. You know, our families were going to be protected in that time. You know. Yep. That was it. God, I got one. God. This is Psalms one fifteen in verse nine. You know, it's a oldie right here. It <laughs> says, "O Israel, trust thou in the Lord; He is their help and their shield." Plain and simple, man. Mm -hmm. O Israel, who's Israel? Okay, the so-called blacks, as you're not black, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. You you are Israel. You make up the Israelites of the Bible. That's who you are. That's your heritage, right? Mm-hmm. And the scripture said what? If you're still holding it? Yeah, I still got it. This is Psalms 115 and 9. It says, O Israel, trust thou in the Lord. And once again, trust is a, a, a firm belief in someone or something, right? That's right. Go ahead. He is their help and their shield. He is their help and their shield. Right? Mm -hmm. Not 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 the government. Not the so-called white man. Not these other heathen nations. But the God of the Bible, man. And that's who we need to be running to. That's right. Oh, we close down on um, uh, that Psalms... Uh, you want to get Psalms 18 and Psalms 91 or just Psalms 18? Mm, I got one more before that. Okay. This is, um... Damn, I lost. I lost it. You know how it goes. No, I, I'm right here. I, I, ha I have, um... I have my hand on it, but... Uh... This is Psalms 33. Here you go, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, Psalms 33 and 20. It says, Our soul waited for the Lord. Here's our help and our shield. Once again, the Lord's letting you know, man. <laughs> precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line. Here, Lord, there a little. That what? <laughs> we need to be trusting in the Lord, man. He's our help and our shield, man. Mm hmm. Hey, look, you started. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I thought. I was just getting to the point. Yeah, but hey, brothers, you know, make sure you're reading your uh, reading the scriptures, you know, because there's plenty of uh, trust scriptures. You know what I mean? And you, you know, having that understanding, that basic understanding that the Lord and He's with us at the end of the day is gonna boost your faith. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, Psalms 18. We'll close on that. Yep. Okay. You want? I got you. Okay. It's Psalms 18 and one. I will love thee, O Lord. My strength. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my rock and my fortress. Yeah, so we're going to love the Lord. And how do we show the Lord we love him? By keeping his commandments. You know, we know that by keeping the commandments of the Lord and most importantly having faith, you know, because that's what it really comes down to because we're not justified by the laws. Right. But we show our faith by keeping the commandments to the best of our abilities, by rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, by, but by faith, you know, that's how we uh, show the Lord that we love him. You know, and um, for he is our strength. We know by doing these things, this is well pleasing to the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, and that he's going to be our strength because we can do nothing against Esau's uh, military, Esau's uh, government. Right. You know, his system he set up, you know, but but unless the Lord's on our side, you think Moses could have, you know, Moses and Aaron could have overthrown Egypt without the Lord? Right. Hell, no, you know. Yeah. And you made a key, key point, man. You know, trusting in the Lord is a righteous thing. It's a good thing, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But our people, you know, <laughs> they choose not to, man. Yeah. And you know, in these lessons we do, we're trying to reach the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, we know two-thirds not going to get it, but 
the the elect that's still out there around two thirds. Like, look, man, it's a righteous thing to trust in the Lord. You yeah. know, not man, but the Lord. Um, it reads on Psalms eighteen and two: "The Lord is my rock and my fortress, mm -hmm. and my deliverer." Yeah, so he's our rock, he's our fortress, and deliverer. You know. <laughs> So you're going to need some type of protection in that day. And look, King David's breaking it down, you know. It's from the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. I believe this is when he was just delivered, you know, from the hand of one of his enemies. And I can't remember the account, whether it be King Saul mm -hmm. or another enemy, you know. But look, he's he's breaking it down. You know, he's, he was living proof at that time, you know. And that's why he wrote this uh, wrote this letter, you know. To the, to the believers of Yahweh by Shema Shai to, 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 to let them know, you know? Okay. But you have to have the faith to believe in these words, you know? That there's just not words written down in the book, you know? Right. That these things actually, actually happened. That the Lord actually delivered Meshach, Benshak, uh, Shemrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, out of the fiery furnace, you know? That Daniel really got delivered out of, you know, the lion's den, mm -hmm. you know? That Elijah, um, you know, that he was protected. That he really did call a fire down from heaven, you know? Mm -hmm. That, um, I believe, I forgot who it was that called the, the she beers out, you know, and devoured those. Uh, those Elisha. Elisha, yep. They called the, the two she bears up and uh, devoured <laughs> those 42 uh, children that were mocking him, you know? Right. Yeah, I believe in those things. <laughs> it reads on Psalms 18 and 2. My power, my strength, and whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. Yeah, so look, he's breaking it down, you know, these are all things that represents, you know, protection and strength, you know. Mm -hmm. And without the Lord, we can do nothing, you know. That's why he said, I will be their power, he will be our, pe what do you mean by he was going to be our power? Look, when the nations come up against us, mm -hmm. he was going to, he was going to smack them down, you mm -hmm. know. Like how you smack flies with a fly swatter, that was gonna what the Lord was gonna do against our enemies. Right. Can you imagine? Only thing we had to do was just walk. When we was in Egypt, mm -hmm. the Lord handled everything else. Only thing we had, only thing we had to do was just walk, man. And if you read the account of Nehemiah, <laughs> it talks about how our clothes never withered away. Mm -hmm. You know, our feet never got sore. Mm -hmm. You know, so hey, forty years in the wilderness, you know. You would think clothes would get dirty, you All know, right. wither away, but nah, that didn't happen. All right. Uh, finish it out verse 3 it says I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised so shall I be saved from my enemies so shall we be saved from our enemies you know that's right and our enemy is about to come down with great wrath because you know if they have but a short time mm -hmm. you know um, destroying the Israelites you know but those who trust in the Lord they're going to be saved from their enemies that's right um, can I get one more real quick yeah 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 this is um, Judith chapter 5, verse, um, I'm sorry, 20. It says, Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, mm -hmm. and they sin against their power, let us consider that this, that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, you know, and a, the elect is a nation within itself. Mm -hmm. It says, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them in their power before them, and we become a reproach before all the world. You know, that's, that's what's right. about to happen to this so-called white man, you know? He's not considering this letter right here that, you know, our power is with us, you know? And that as him coming up against us it's going to activate the lord to defend us even more you know the lord's gonna to have to lift up that standard you know where it be spiritual power where it be you know the angels coming down and delivering us you know hey and at the end of the day yahweh shai is gonna come back you know mm -hmm. <laughs> i guess i'm real fast mm -hmm. sirach 2 and 17 says let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of the Most High, he will help him and deliver him from the hands of his enemies. Khan, that's wisdom of Solomon too. Yeah. Khan, yep. You know, hey, 
It's gonna. It's, hey, that's what that's what the council of the wicked is saying, yeah. you know. And it, hey, the Most High is gonna deliver us from the hand of our enemies for yeah. sure, you know. Some brothers may have to lose their lives, but really, you know, we understand that you don't really ever die, you know. Your spirit always goes back to the heavenly Father, you know. Hey, yep. this is uh, we're, our spirits are pure energy, you know. Yeah. You got any more? That was it. I got one last one. Okay. This is Psalm sixteen and one. Preserve, preserve me, O, O, O Lord, mm -hmm. for indeed do I put my trust. Hey, preserve me, you know, and that's what's going to happen to the elect. The elect are going to be preserved, and that's what we're at. We were given diligence to make our calling election sure by doing videos, by going with the highways and byways and preaching this word by being brotherly. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, by being charitable. Scripture say, what charity shall cover a multitude, multitude of sins, sins, you know? So we do these things, you know, we build up that relationship. We, you know, we talk to the Lord, we pray to the Lord every day, mm -hmm. you know, so that, hey, when in time of trouble, the first thing we do is call on the Lord, you know? You should really feel ashamed if when you get into a predicament and you don't call on the Lord first, you know? Right. You know, we got to work on that, you know, talking about ourselves first and foremost, you know? Okay. But, um, you want to close this out? Yeah, man. You know, the point of this lesson is, you know, the Lord's gonna be our, our 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 savior, our deliverer, and we gotta put our trust in Him, man. You know, <laughs> and like we open up with the Lord knows those who trust in Him, man. You know, that's right. You know, so with that, you know, Lord, we'll edify find lesson through the Spirit and power you have about Shimei Shai. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakwadash, the honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us His truth. According to the Bible, and hope well. Another shalom one, all the sincere Akiyams throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.